From securing a decisive TKO against Eddie Alvarez to promising a second dose of that lethal action to Michael Chandler, Conor McGregor is in a league of his own. But admittedly, he has the track record to back up his words. And who could know this better than Alvarez himself? When he stepped into the cage against the Notorious at UFC 205, Eddie was expecting a tired out contender. Surely, his 5 for 5 decision win against Nate Diaz had softened him up a bit. Unfortunately for him, the the Irishman thrives on chaos and victory. Give them both at once, and he's in MMA heaven. Grandal looks hurt. This could be the end. Big left. This could be an early stoppage. Another first comes round in. for McGregor. This could be it. That is it. It is wow. all over. Conor McGregor. So when he TKO'd Eddie in two short rounds, he issued a statement to the whole world. He was here to take over. Over the years, he said this oftentimes, but you could always sense he meant it fully. Now, I agree that the recent years haven't been too great for him, with an injury ailing his leg and the USADA on his heels along with legal troubles. Though he's not ready to call it quits either, it's been too rewarding a journey to give up without a fight. I'd say it started with his matchup against Eddie. That was his first win in the lightweight division, but it also went one step further in the history books. For the first time, a simultaneous two-weight champ came onto the record books. In both the 145 and 155 pound divisions, only the Irishman was undefeated and undisputed. What a legend. Look at that uppercut. Now, Mark Over is the top. top. Looking to finish it here. Conor McGregor, another first round win. Wow. Impressive UFC debut. So when Eddie says his former opponent will completely derail Chandler, you can bet he's got the experience to back up his opinion. After all, he shares the honor of being knocked down by the Notorious. So what makes him think Chandler will soon join that club? As the latest season of UFC's reality TV show picks up speed, so do the rumors of a matchup between the two fighters for later this year. The hype for the ultimate fighter is translating into some wild predictions. But but none is more wild and exciting than the one from Alvarez. The underground king says it's a style mismatch that will be Mike's greatest disadvantage going into the octagon with the returning legend. The odds simply aren't in his favor style-wise. He drops heavy bombs, sure, but Connor's just too quick for them to have any chance of landing. On the other hand, Mike's striking defense is weaker too, as he moves slower than the Irishman. That won't do him any favors against the blistering jabs from Connor, even if he could take care of that problem. His wrestling leaves a lot to be desired. If he could take him down to the ground and hold him there, he'd have way more of a shot than he currently does. Though as things stand right now, the former champ takes the lead both on the ground and definitely in the stand-up game. What's more, with his future career potentially riding on a spectacular win here, the Notorious will likely be in top form. He's had a lot of time preparing for this moment, and I don't think he's going to let it go to waste in any way. Especially especially not for a fight Eddie thinks could be one of his easiest. If you listen to Connor too, you'd see he's also his usual confident self. All arrogance and showmanship aside though, let's get down to brass tacks and it tells me this. Connor's motivated by wins and there's a style to his winning too. For McGregor, it's knockout or not out. The 22 wins he has to his name consist of a stunning 19 knockout victories. Alvarez getting loose, getting better here in this round, though. Oh, man. Until that. Oh, he's done. He's wow. done. History has been made. Conor McGregor is the UFC lightweight champion. This is what cemented his status as one of the Octagon's most legendary strikers. He really needs this next win, too, since his recent fights haven't been too kind to his legacy. McGregor took several L's against some key opponents, especially Khabib Nurmagomedov in the grappling department. The legendary striker was simply out of his depth against the Dagestani. He got submitted in a humiliating fashion before he got a chance to aim any of his punching power at his opponent. Instead, he had to contend with a ground game that just wasn't his forte. On the other hand, his last two fights weren't too great either. These developments put the Notorious and his legacy in serious trouble. So you could say he wants to go all out this time, or rather, he needs to. It's not just the gold for him, but the extra gold that motivates him. The extra inch, the stunning knockout, that's what drives him. Michael Chandler will certainly fulfill that drive and then some. He's an incredible competitor who will keep Connor on his toes. Maybe that's what Connor wants 
chance too after his spell out of the game. Someone to challenge him and then give him the taste of that sweet, delicious knockout, just like he got from Eddie at UFC 205. The former champ still remembers and regrets how he let himself be exposed like that at UFC 205. You can see that the former National Prep All-American has given it a great deal of thought and tried to see where he could have done better. While it's given him a lot of clarity on his own grappling game, like maybe going left and taking hold of his head leg as the two were trapped in the clinch during that fateful championship bout, in the best case scenario, he'd just stuff the underground king and go for a striker shot at victory. With Connor, his reach is as deadly, if not more, than his grappling. Both are departments Alvarez says Iron Chandler sorely lacks in. Now at 36 years of age, he's also more or less beyond his prime. You can see it show in the former three-time Bellator champ's recent decline. Once the winner of Bellator Season 4, he recently took a third-round submission from Dustin Poirier. The fights leading up to UFC 281 weren't too kind on him either, with consecutive losses to Charles Oliveira by TKO, no surprise there, followed by a unanimous loss by decision to Justin the Highlight Gagey. His only win since early 2021 was against a former top contender who's in the same boat as Iron himself, that is, on the cusp of potential retirement, Tony Ferguson. But honestly, that is, was a, honestly, a... Oh! Though it might be a bit premature to call it a ramp yet, both TWSN journalist Nader Asaf and Ted Ashbrock agree that Chandler's a fit contender and could hold his own against Mystic Mac, especially with the iron chin he's got. Still, if Eddie says so, you can bet it's not the everyman's take. He's actually a pro at this, with 40 fights to his name and both Connor and Chandler as his former opponents. The guy has a history with the best in the game, at least when he fought them. As a 30-10 former lightweight champ in both the the UFC and Bellator, he's also kinda legendary. The 39-year-old is still semi-active with his last fight in the One Arena. You can imagine what I'm getting at, he knows his stuff, but he especially knows what it takes for a knockout. And Mike's just not it, not at this point at least. He knows his former opponent through and through. The underground king and his two championship bouts with Chandler were most likely the pinnacle of his career, or at least they would have been, had the widely anticipated trilogy fight taken place. It didn't, and that taught Eddie one thing. Mike's not the same as before. He promised Eddie to make a fight happen, but backed out of the partnership due to reasons of his own. Whatever they were, Eddie wasn't impressed with this behavior. Now that's not the kind of fighter who can afford to take on Connor, especially when he's at his power-hungry comeback run. And that's all on why Alvarez predicts that Connor will knock out Iron Chandler.